Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you some main supplies that you might need for college since I'm going to college this year. I'm going to be a freshman in college and I'm commuting. So this is a collaboration with Skylin Reese and I'll leave her information down below in her channel and her YouTube video. She's making a high school one. So yeah, you guys can go check that out. This might be like the general stuff that you guys might need and then your professor will give you another list. Some of the things you guys might really 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 need are notebooks and you might actually not need a binder because most of the time you're just going to be taking notes unless you're doing um, a hands-on a program or something like FIDM then you guys have uh, you guys need a binder because my friend started college already and I know that she needs to keep a binder so she can put all of her stuff inside it and um, yeah but most of the time you usually take a lot of notes and it's really really rare when your teacher gives you handout sheets or uh, yeah worksheets um, unless you have a really small class. I don't know when you might need these, but um, these are Sharpies, and I'm sorry they're out of the package. I have a habit of opening things, and I just lost some stuff, actually, for this video. So maybe I should stop doing that, and I will stop. Pens, colorful pens make work less boring, so that's really, really good. The next thing you guys will need, definitely, are pencils and, like, my little Hello Kitty pencils. Yeah, most of them are blue. I just noticed that you need a lot of pencils, and I'm not sure if it's, like, high school where people are still asking you for pencils, but just in case. And then, ugh, I don't have one. You need, I don't have this, but, um... Like I said, I have a habit of opening things, but you need a number two pencil because um, when I was in high school, my teachers used to tell me that you bought your own um, answer sheets, so yeah, and they're really, some teachers are really, really strict about using number two pencils, and then some of them don't really care, but just to be on the safe side, bring your mechanical pencils and your number two pencils. Just to be on the safe side, you never really know. Erasers are really, really a must-have because you need to erase those mistakes. But then when you write it with a pen, then I guess there's not really a mistake. Um, but <laughs> when you're writing with pen and you need to erase something out, you need whiteout. Some teachers are really strict about using whiteout and you're not allowed to, so you have to rewrite your stuff. And that's completely fine because it's not a big deal. But um, if your teachers allow it, carry your white out. You really need it. Some things that you guys need to have for studying are flashcards. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, they don't really work, blah, blah. But when you're in college, you really, really need to concentrate. I'm talking as if I'm already in college, but I'm not. But um, yeah, you really, really need flashcards. And I know I'm going to need them. And I got them in like colorful neon colors. So I don't lose them, and I know where they are, and they catch my attention. So yeah, get some flashcards and work, girl or boy. So you're gonna need to keep um, your pencils somewhere, right? So you're gonna need a pencil pouch, and you don't have to keep that if you're gonna use a binder. You don't have to keep it in your binder. You can just keep it in your backpack since it's gonna go everywhere with you. And um, mine isn't in my binder because. It can't really stay in the binder. This is my Rila Kuma pencil case, and it's been with me since I think maybe sophomore or junior year. So I'm gonna continue using this guy until maybe he wears out, or until I think he's had enough and I don't want to damage him. But yeah, yeah. The next thing that you guys really really need is well, unless you're bringing your own lunch and your own little snacks and stuff. Since you're going to be walking around so much, you're going to get really, really hungry fast and stuff because you're moving around a lot and your body needs to re-energize. So, um, carry snacks and if you don't, I don't want to sound like, oh, I have a lot of money because I really don't, but um, carry your wallet everywhere, carry your money everywhere. There's vending machines like on every corner, I've seen it in every campus. Trust me, I've went to a lot of campuses. But um, 
Yeah, you need money. Those vending machines will tempt you, and I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, and then with the vending machines, you need to have a tumbler. I'm sorry, but um, you can carry your own stuff in here, and then you can refill it with whatever you want later. Because I know some um, have food courts, some colleges don't, you have to go out and buy food. But when they have food courts, you can just refill this, just don't get caught. Most of you guys, or most of us, just take cla one class like each day, or maybe two classes a day. And so we can have like a lot of space left for later. So um, I'm pretty sure this will help you through. But since you're walking around a lot, you really, really want to carry some snacks. Because you're going to get hungry fast. Oh, another thing that I couldn't find for some reason um, are paper clips and those were actually still in the box so I don't know where those went. You're gonna need a highlighter because if you're taking literature for your major and stuff um, you're gonna be reading a lot and you're gonna have to highlight so much and take so many notes on your books. I took AP Lit and my teacher was a... Uh, he explained to us what goes through and stuff. So you're going to read a lot of books, and all those books you um, have from high school and like AP literature and stuff, keep those books. You're going to read them again in college, so don't buy anything, don't waste your money on that. So yeah. Just in case, you never know, carry the order in, in your backpack. And I say backpack because, girls, you can't be carrying those purses around anymore. There's so much stuff to carry, trust me. I haven't seen one person with a purse. Everyone's always carrying a backpack. Sorry, this is really not the best video I've ever done, but um, I hope it's really helping you guys. Some of the things you guys should really, really keep at home are hole punchers, tape, maybe you should carry tape around actually, um, staplers, glue, colored pencils, you most likely won't need them at school, um, markers maybe? but just to be on the safe side, scissors and little arts and crafts things that you might need when you get home. Some, I'm pretty sure some of your teachers like to get creative. So far the people I've met are really really nice and they like to get creative. If I'm missing something, um, comment down below what you think I might be missing because I'm pretty sure I covered most of the stuff but um, you guys might actually been to the summer courses, so um, that might be a little bit more helpful. And there's some stuff you guys actually already know what to do and like carry, like your ID and stuff like that, so I didn't mention some of that stuff. But other than that, um, anything that I missed, please feel free to comment down below and tell me what you think I might have missed. So yeah, don't forget to head over to Skyline Reese's channel so you can check her high school resources stuff um, out. So yeah, bye. Thank you.